What's up, Flipsider? So it's Monday, December 1st, um, and I'm in the airport right now, I'm getting ready to fly to Vegas. And I'm really excited, I'm really excited, I'm going for a work convention. Convention? Is that what you can call it? It's for the high set test, it's like an alternate alternative to the GED. It's really boring, and extremely boring. But I haven't flown in a real long time, and I've never been to Vegas, so I'm excited on both of those accounts. Even though I feel like Vegas is going to completely disgust me and revolt me in every way possible. Um, I'm still interested to see it because you gotta see it like once and be there to see the lights and everything. It'll be kind of cool. And I got a haircut because I figured if I'm going to be representing my work, I should be presentable. Um, and how you guys like my hair? Like You guys like my hair like this? It's a little... It's been like this all day, so the wind's kind of blown it, but... Huh? I like... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Give you all the angles. I like it. I'm a fan. Uh, but then again, I asked her to cut it like this. So I kind of have to be. But um, I'm going to be filming a lot over the next couple days while I'm in Vegas. And is this going to be a flip side of Friday? Is it just going to be a glorified vlog? I don't know. But anyway, um, I am excited about this trip. And yeah, I look forward to a lot more videos. Um, I don't know if I'll edit this together or I'll put them out individually. But we'll see. Anyway, wish me luck. If I don't see you, if I don't die in a horrible plane crash. Then I will see you guys on the flip side. is huge. It's a big place. Okay, so <clears throat> I think my work thinks we are a lot more important than we are. Because <laughs> we have the nicest hotel room I've ever seen. <clears throat> then again, I've only been in like little hotels, but I'm in the bathroom right now. So we're going to take a tour. First of all, there's like a makeup station. There's like a makeup station right there. And look at it. It's, it's soft, okay? It's soft. And then you have your shower right here. You have a giant bathtub and another mirror and another mirror. You, they really want you to look at yourself in this place. <laughs> but there's a TV in the bathroom and little lights that look like torches. Itchy cheek and... And there's a phone by the toilet. Why is there a phone by the toilet? I don't know. But it's cool. If I wanted to make a call, maybe it's just room service or something like, hey, I need toilet paper. Uh, there's a trash can. Which even the trash cans look nice and the scale. That's only the bathroom. And it's the walkway. I'm assuming that's to next door. The nice painting. But check, check this place out. <laughs> it's probably like totally normal. Uh, it's probably not normal, but it's it's probably more normal than I'm thinking it is, and I just think it's really cool because I've never been like anywhere. <laughs> okay, so you got your your uh, complimentary bathrooms, which I'll absolutely be using. I don't even use bathrooms or need to use a bathroom, but I'm going to just because it's there. There's a safe which I will not be using, so please don't come rob me. You can rob whoever's here next. I don't care. I do care, don't do that. Uh, I came with a complimentary backpack with all my stuff in it, which is great. Uh, another painted. Look at the size of this. It's so soft. So I don't remember what it's like to sleep on a bed. <laughs> so this, this is probably going to feel really bizarre for me because it's been like four years since I've slept on a normal bed. But then, of course, you have like a thing here, which I don't know what that is, and a chair and another mirror. Of course. And then another TV. I didn't even see this when I walked in the first time. There's a TV facing the bed. Look at how messy the bed is. That's ridiculous. Horrible service. Um, but then there's, there's stairs. There's freaking stairs in this room. Why is there stairs in a hotel? I don't know, but it's super cool. And then there's this marble thing. I don't even know what this is. Can I stand on it? Am I allowed to stand on it? Because I'm going to. Oh, this is so cool. I should get off. <laughs> 
Okay, so, and then there's like an L couch here with a picture of someone's butt. Why does that have to be there? Uh, this isn't as comfortable, <laughs> but, it, but it looks nice. And there's the style magazines, which of course I'm gonna not look at those. And then a desk with a printer faxer thing. It's awesome. <laughs> and there, you could see the. Do these these go up? Do they like move to the side? Okay, I'm assuming there's like a way to work these things. Do they pull from? Is it like? Do I tug from the bottom or something? I don't know. Maybe those are just supposed to stay there, but let's just pull them back. Look at that, huh? Well, let me get back here. <laughs> Look at that. Can you see it? I don't know. But there's the Venetian, and there's a giant Ferris wheel, which I'm absolutely going to go on. Why wouldn't I go on that? It's huge. It looks amazing. And here's the side of the building, and the moon, if you can see that. But jeez. Look at this hotel room. It's insane. <laughs> Tell me, is this, like, common? These amazing bedrooms? Because feel pretty important and amazing and it's really cool and I'm going to purposely try to use everything that I can I'm gonna use the shower I'm gonna use the bath I'm definitely gonna use the toilet I'm gonna use the phone in the toilet room I'm gonna use all three TVs I'm gonna sit at that desk I'm not gonna take anything from this mini bar because it's I can't even touch it I can't, oh but there's M&Ms peanut M&Ms and gummy bears and whole roasted cashews oh and Chocolate bar mixes and yogurt covered pretzels and french fries. Whatever that is, it's $45. I can't even touch any of that though because there's weight sensi sensors on all the things. So if I touch any of it, it's going to immediately char charge even if I set it back down. So I'm not going to be touching anything in here for sure. Phone security tips. Look at this. Look at this pen. That's like, that's what I'm feeling inside right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go sneak out and film some more of this hotel because it's incredible. So, seriously, look, I mean, just look at the light. Look at the light by itself. It's glass on the outside. It's just, why? I don't, because it looks cool, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go look around, take pictures, and send them to my mother because she's really would like to see them. So my first and most obvious question when seeing this is where do I get one to put in my house? Or can I build a house like right there on the water? I probably look like such a tourist to everybody around because I am just being amazed by everything. Look at how big that building is. It's huge. And I'm just like, that's awesome. And everyone else is probably like, yeah, I've seen it a million times. And this, the fact that you can like go over bridges, over the street, that's so cool. That's like nothing. They don't have those in Carson City or Reno. But that's so, I don't even have to cross, look both ways before I cross the street. Because I'm going over the street. <laughs> I think I might be on the opposite end of the strip. I don't know, I could ask that person behind me, but they might take my lunch money or something, so I'm not gonna do that. There's my building. Look at that. Look at there's a roof above me. How did I even get that roof so high up? I, I don't even know. Jeez. There's no buildings as tall as that roof is from here in Carson. That's so cool. I think I'm uh, on the wrong side of the street. <laughs> Not a crosswalk for days. I'm just <laughs> I picked, how did I end up on the ply board? Plywood? How did I end up on this side of the street? <laughs> all that's over there. I want to look at all that. Take pictures. And I'm going to leave that voice cracking. Look at that box! You will not believe this. Look who I just passed. It's the Seattle Seahawks back there. Look at that! Look at that. I bet they hate getting filmed and like approached, so I'm not going to talk to them. I'll show you. The Seattle Seahawks. Hate the Seattle Seahawks. So I've been walking 
for a while because I keep getting into like a boring spot and I'm like, well, there's nothing to film or show here because it's just this or that. And so I'm like, well, a little bit ahead, there's some more lights and there's some cool stuff that looks cool from far away. Then you get there and it's not cool. So I've just been walking like big light section to big light section. And I turned around and realized I'm nowhere next to my hotel anymore. I'm like 40 minutes away. <laughs> I looked at my clock. I've really been walking for 40 minutes. And I'm still walking in the wrong direction. There's a Hilton up there. And so I was like, uh, I'm really hungry. I'm kind of tired. I'm going to go go back now. But then I'm like, well, I got to get closer to that. I can't just turn around now when I'm that close. But when I get to that, I'm going to see cool, like, a bunch of lights further down. And I'm going to be like, oh, let's just go a little bit further down. When instead, I need to go back because I have to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm really not seeing anything that's that exciting. <sighs> but we're almost at that. All right, guys. So I just finished my vacation in Las Vegas, and I'm, I'm at the Bahamas now. Uh, I know I didn't really get to shoot a lot in Vegas, um, but you know, the Bahamas is cool too. And I just got there, I'm wearing the same clothes and I just got, I'm still in Vegas. <laughs> is that funny? That was a joke, it's, a... it's late. You guys are not gonna believe what I just found. The <laughs> liquor store. <laughs> <sighs> You guys have any idea how thin the air is here at the stratosphere? The stratosphere. <laughs> how thin the air is because we're so high in the air. The stratus. 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 So welcome to the inside of the stratosphere. Uh, I was gonna go to the very top, but then I'm like, wait. I doesn't look at So arcade. Whoa. Oh. He's not look happy. I was gonna pet him, but he looked like he probably has like rabies or something. But then I'm like, they're gonna charge me to go to the top of this place. And they are twenty dollars. And that's not that much, but I'm just like yeah, it's just for a view of everything that I've been looking at already. Not worth it, but I could do a bunch of jump off the top. Right there. <laughs> no. No. <sighs> Strapped. Strapped. Somebody Strapped. Strapped. She's <laughs> gonna walk away. She's gonna walk away. She'll be fine. <sighs> so I'm sure this place is super interesting when everything's open, but apparently everything shuts like at 11.30 or earlier here. Why? This is supposed to be like... Vegas. Yeah, everything's already closed. It's 1130. I'm not gonna have a chance to walk around tomorrow. <sighs> just wanted to go in some shops. They're all closed. Even that one's closed. It's just perfumes. This place sucks. This is not where I went in. Where am I? Oh my goodness, what? Elvis Wedding Chapel. You guys want to get married? You want to get married? Me neither. Uh. What? Pretend wedding photos for 35 bucks. <laughs> 35 bucks. I'll just take one right here. Watch this. Get out of the way, Elvis. Free. Boom. World famous Chapel of Bells. Weddings. We can get married again. We get I'm going to walk back because I just realized I like, walked right to a strip club. <laughs> I was going for the wedding joke because I already did it. It's like, oh, you want to get married again? And then there's a strip pub. I want nothing to do with that. Hey, look, a liquor store. You guys think I could? I should get some tattoos? I think because there's three tattoo shops right there. I could, I could have my choice of which place I'd like to go to. Tattoo happen, diversity, or just tattoos. What is that? Oh, my goodness. Where is the sidewalk? Oh, my goodness. Si Oh, thank you, sign. Thank you so much. Man, 
that sign wasn't there, I never would have found the sidewalk. Whoo! Hey, look, a liquor store! <laughs> this guy looks like he's planning something. <laughs> he looks like he's up to no good, that guy. Somebody should be watching him. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at how happy he is. Look at how happy he is. He's just posing up there. <laughs> that's that's the most interesting and exciting thing I've seen all night. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Look at They're advertising my other channel on that billboard. I don't know why that guy's face is on it, but <laughs> that's pretty awesome. That's pretty sweet. Okay, if that was on every single building, they should they should have a city where every single building has walls like that. You have any idea how trippy that would be? That'd be I'm walking through this. Whoop. That would be amazing. That would be so cool. That would be the coolest city. <laughs> I am so far away from my room. <laughs> I'm so far away from my hotel. I still can't even see it. I'm not even back to Circus Circus yet. Now it's like 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> what is this? What? What is that? I don't know what it is, but it's like a completely unbuilt, unfinished building. With no signs on the outside saying what's being built. But being an unbuilt building, <laughs> unbuilt building, looks awesome. I want to film up there so bad. Think of like all the awesome action sequences you can have in just the gigantic framework of a gigantic building. That would be so cool. But it's private property. No trespassing. Capital N-O trespassing. Whoa, excuse me. There is something gigantic and purple over there. And I'm really tempted to go find out what it is. It's only midnight. All right, let's go look. Guys. That stretch Hummer just got in the way of my joke. <laughs> the liquor store. Can you believe it? I walked like an extra 20 minutes to see what the purple thing was. And it's nothing. It's nothing. It was just a stupid purple building. I was expecting so much more. Is it from the... Wait. Is that light shining on like a different part of the purple building? It better. It better be something better than this. Because I did not walk 15, 20 minutes out of my way to get purple windows. I'm almost positive you guys won't be able to see this. But there's a tank right there. It's a freaking tank right there. And there's the purple building! <sighs> so have you ever stopped to think if the guy who named Circus Circus actually just wanted to call it Circus and had a horrible stutter that nobody called him on? Just saying. Oh my goodness. A liquor store? Oh man. It's the first one I've seen in this whole city. Woo. So Vegas was quite a trip. So I thought I would continue in the traveling. And now to the Philippines. If you could read backwards, that would have worked a lot better. I'm still in Vegas. Forget it. Hey, hey guys! Look at where I am. Look at where I am now. Man, I know I didn't shoot a lot of Vegas, but now there's a lot to shoot in Singapore, too. I mean, it looks like it. If you look at the picture, here in Las Vegas. So here I am. Continuing my world tour in Malaysia. Malaysia, it's beautiful here. It's really green with uh, like a lot of low clouds. You would be surprised. Oh, look, here's here it is. And there's a hotel up there. And there's a... 
So I bet you guys have no idea where I am now. I mean, we just passed some Royal Guard people, but you know, that doesn't give it away at all. Just wait, wait for it. We're getting to the... Okay, don't point at me. We're getting to the word down here. Hey, we're in London. Yay, we're in London now. Ooh, look, a liquor store. Oh my goodness, look. <laughs> a liquor store. Oh, I'm so tired. Yes. 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 It's my hotel. I'm almost there. It's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I didn't mean to walk that far. I just wanted to see what was down there. There's a lot of liquor stores. So the coolest thing in the world just happened. The coolest thing I've seen all night. And now it's gone. See that sign right there? See that sign? On the bottom there's like that wind sign right, right there. That's different. And then there's a screen. Just a second ago, that sign was at the top of the screen and like a fairy came out and pulled it all the way down to the bottom. It sounds super lame, but it was by far the coolest thing that I've seen this tonight. And I'm really disappointed it's gone. Okay. So I was walking back to my hotel. And you see the sign? It's back at the top now. The fairy came back and pushed it to the top. It was the same thing, but backwards. Oh, it's not as cool. Oh, but that did happen, and I missed it again. I'm really bad at this. I made it back to my hotel. So this is one entrance to the hotel. Look at that. And there's an echo. But that's like the side entrance. We're gonna go to the main entrance where the thing is just awesome. And as you can see, the wind sign over there is at the bottom of the stupid screen again. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm gonna get it. You'll see. Cool. I didn't even look at this the first time I came in here. Nice. Right. And then you got your giant. I have no idea what those things are. Or is it a flamingo? I have no idea, but that's a Mercedes Benz. That is really nice. So here's like the walkway. It's so, it's, it's so warm and the carpet feels so good on my feet. Ah, my knee hurts. Walked all the way to the freaking stratosphere. But here, so here's the inside. Huh? <laughs> Look at this. Holy crap. This giant fountain with all the Christmas decorations. Look at that. It's awesome. And it smells good in here. <laughs> After being out on the street and just smelling the disgustingness of the air out there. It smells so clean in here. And it's probably because they're cleaning right now. It's probably what I'm smelling. I'm smelling the soap from the ground, but it smells really nice. Then over here you got some trees, some pretty trees over there, and more Christmas decorations. It's nice. And right, I'm gonna go back up to my room. Okay, so I made it back to my room. It's only 1.30. <laughs> and I have to be up at 6. So I'm going to try to get some sleep. I'm going to listen to some music, read a little bit of my Bible, and get some sleep before a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a long day of actual work. And I walked all the way down the North Strip north of the palazzo I walked all the way down to the stratosphere which i looked down and it's that's the end there's nothing really past that so tomorrow night I walk all the way south and then um that'll probably be it
So anyway, look forward to that. I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So it is the morning of the conference, and I'm already lost I'm trying to get there. <laughs> but the real question today is not whether or not I will find where I'm going, but the real question is, is my hair going to stay like this and nice? Because I'm, I wore like... I got not quite hair gel I figured out today. It's like mousse <laughs> or something. It's like a shiner. Not actually hair gel, which is what I need. So that will be the big mystery going into today. Wish me luck. So we're at an intermission period of this conference and duh, I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> I'm surviving. But look at... So this is the... Um, like the in-between area of the Palazzo and the Venetian. And they're just, look at that. It's decorated for Christmas with the, or with the gigantic ornaments and the waterfall. And it's just so exquisite. I, I guess it'd be the best word for it. You got the biggest ornaments I've ever seen in my entire life fountain there. Probably like a ton of money that people probably, I mean somebody's, there's a casino right there so there's people probably like reaching into the pool for casino money and then going over the casino, right? I mean that's probably a thing. Everyone's probably drunk here anyway. And then of course you have your giant flamingo, ostriches, peacocks. Are they peacocks? That's what they are. So Vegas definitely has a much different feel in the daytime than it does at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> um, it's really hazy out here today though. But here's the Venetian. Well, no. It's part of the Venetian. Yeah, that's the Venetian. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. I shouldn't question myself. I shouldn't. I know what I'm talking <laughs> But seriously, look at this. It's nice. I have a feeling you're not allowed to swim in that. So, I mean, it's just for decoration, which is really a disappointment. But look at this! I have a feeling that's gonna look absolutely incredible when I come back tonight. I should go back, probably. Back to work. Probably be a good idea. Not quite done with all the conference stuff today, but I am on a break. I'm not going to one of the things because it's nothing to do with me and my job. Uh, so I decided I'll stick close. I finished, I shot a reflect video. It took me about an hour because I'm so tired I could not get my thoughts through, but I hope it <laughs> comes out good in the final edit. I'm hoping I can piece it together, but uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, I figured I'd walk around some of the closed shops from that I passed last night uh, before I head up north, south. I don't remember which way I went. I went that way last night, and tonight we're going down that way to where the strip ends, to where all the fun ends on this trip that way. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot more fun. There's going to be a lot more interesting things to look at tonight because I'm going to go at like 6 o'clock. <laughs> it's going to be, everything's still going to be open and there's still going to be people like living and alive outside. So anyway, I'm going to go to some stores, see if I can, I've been staring at this stupid sign. You guys have any idea how long I've been staring at this sign waiting for the ferry to come down and pull the, <laughs> pull the sign down. I need to prove to you guys I'm not insane. Not insane. My hair is held up fantastically well. I'm very proud. Anyway, let's go shopping. I walked by this and was legitimately freaked out for a sec because I thought it was a real person from when I saw it from far away. <laughs> Dude, that thing is freaky. I mean, the Christmas wreath is it's nice. I like the Christmas wreath, but the lady inside that's freaky. I hope she falls. Not on anybody, of course, but that would be hilarious. Why? Why is this a thing? First the peacocks and then this monstrosity. It's like an ornament, half ornament, half woman hybrid terror from hell. Tell me this isn't the greatest name for a, sh a store. A pee in the... <laughs> It's a, 
It's a maternity clothing line store. <laughs> a pee in the pot. That's awesome. I wish I would have thought of that. You guys want to take a picture with Seth? Shrek? Where's Santa? What? Where's Santa? I don't know. Why do they have Shrek instead of Santa? Come on! Come on, almost there! Almost. Oh no! No, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh no! Is there anything more depressing? <laughs> So I come outside and you know the first thing I see? Stupid signs at the bottom again. <laughs> so I didn't actually end up going into like hardly any stores because Eric uh, texted me or posted on Instagram a, a black and white picture. And he's like, I challenge you to go on a black and white five day challenge. So where you gotta post like five black and white pictures, you know, five days. <laughs> So, I'm like, you know, it'd be funny, because I don't really do the Instagram challenges and stuff. <laughs> so what I did is uh, I wanted to take a picture with a black person and put it in black and white and trump his black and white challenge. <laughs> so I spent the last 40 minutes walking through the mall asking all the black people they'd take a picture with me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make it obvious or anything, but. <laughs> They were none of them wanted to take a picture with me Why did they want to take a picture with me? I'm harmless. I told them it was for a project where I Was I just needed to take a picture with a self uh, a selfie with a stranger social experiment, which is true partially <laughs> But there's so many of them and they wouldn't They didn't want to, to take a picture with me and then I asked like a security guard because I'm like, oh, this guy, he'll be cool if he's here anyway. And he's like, oh, you're not supposed to take pictures or video. No, he's like, you're not supposed to take home videos inside the mall premises. And I'm like, even pictures? You can take family pictures here? He's like, nope, not in the mall. I'm like, <laughs> what? And then his partner's like, there were more people upstairs, they might help you. <laughs> just totally threw him under the bus. He could have just said no. Instead of making up bogus lies. But look at there's a Disney store. I'm gonna go there. And then I have to get back to the Venetian for uh, the rest of the conference. But it's raining, and I did get the picture with a dude. <laughs> it's on Instagram. It's awesome. I have just like the stupidest smile on my face because I was so happy that someone actually finally took a picture with me. <sighs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah! I want to sing along so bad. Why? <laughs> Why? I get so lost. Didn't even know there was a parking garage connected to this mall. Now I'm in it. And I have to be back at the hotel in 20 minutes. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. I don't even see like an exit. I'm pretty sure I'm, I was on the ground floor. I'm gonna die down here. That last session was so painful. I know all humans are wonderful people that I'm supposed to love. But gosh, I was stuck with the dumbest people in my group. <laughs> they're asking the stupidest questions. And I couldn't tell with half of them if they're just stupid or if they're being smart, Alex. <sighs> so I left. Like three quarters in. Me and... Uh, one of my coworkers were just like, we should just leave because this is totally a waste of time. And so now I'm back in my hotel room. It's like 5.30 only. But I'm so tired. I so badly just want to go to sleep right there on the bed. But I haven't walked down there yet. I haven't walked down this side of the strip. And I feel like I have to. I'm so tired though. And my leg hurts like crazy. For some reason, my left leg has been tweaking out. It's been hurting since yesterday uh, when I was working out. It's like, huh, there's something definitely wrong with my left leg right now, so I'm not going to do legs today. And then it felt good for the majority of the day yesterday, but I woke up this morning, and all that walking I did last night must have had some kind of effect because it's killing me. 
But I think I'm going to go out one more time. It's the last night here in Vegas, so might as well. Let's go walk the strip and then come back, go to bed before 8 o'clock. That's the plan. There's no way that's going to happen. I once again have no idea where I am. It's pretty cool. I don't know what the heck this is. Pretty sure I'm in the Venetian right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm in the Venetian. I just walk. I just like travel around in circles and I end up places. And then when you get lost, you just look outside for the big towers and you walk back towards them. From next door to my, oh, there's outside. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Everything's all golden and beautiful. Jeez. Look at that. I can already tell that tonight is going to be more successful in seeing cool and interesting things. Cause look at look at this! It's way cooler than anything we saw the other way already. The stratosphere is kind of cool, but that was not an hour both ways. Cool. Ferris wheel, and I'm so tempted to just go ride it, but I've seen it from the sky already, and I'm gonna see it again tomorrow. Is it worth it? The yeah, answer's no, but it's still super cool. It's still pretty cool. So I definitely should have come down this way before, because this is way cooler than the other side. I must have been like at the end of the strip. This is boring and crappy. Look, this, there's like cool things. Every 10 feet on this side of the place. I have seen that in so many TV shows and movies. I don't know how they got it here from Paris. But it's really cool. It's a joke. Please don't. Please don't write in the comments. Broski's straight up floating right now. I mean, I totally know how he's, how he's doing it. Because I'm a genius. But that's really cool. Still, okay, you want to know? Kind of like a pole in the pole, and it's a fake hand holding the pole, and it goes out to a chair, and he's in on the chair. I'm sorry, sorry, I ruined it. Everybody already knew that anyway. But look at that! I just got, I just got attacked by a couple tourists. By attacked, I mean, what's up? Uh, and by attacked, I mean they were laughing at me while I was taking selfies, and they're like, "Your face looks so ridiculous," and I'm like, "Why would you say that?" They're right there too. They're right there. Little monsters. Just kidding, they're really nice. Talk to them for a couple of minutes. Look at that! That's a bizarre looking building. Oh, I just went through such a puddle. Oh, I should have been paying attention. My socks are soaking wet. <laughs> it's a horse! Nothing like this the other way from the plaza. <laughs> Everything shiny and bright and, al and alive is here. It could be because it's not midnight. But there were buildings like this, or screens and craziness, on the other side of town. Now it's cool. Now it's like, just neat to walk down. And there's not nearly as much porn on the side of the streets, on this side of the strip. 
This is like, if it's possible, the classy side of it. Look at those buildings! Look at those! It's like leaning! It's the Aria. If anybody wants to know. Look at this! That's not that. It's so cool! God, such a tourist! But... It's the worst enemy right now. <laughs> My leg hurts so bad. Ah, oh, there's so many stairs, but it's awesome because you get across over the streets. I'm getting soaked. I hid my headphones in my inside pocket because <laughs> they were probably gonna get ruined. There's plenty of music on this side. I didn't even have to bring them. <sighs> what a waste. Oh, I was gonna say the roof is linking. There's no roof. <laughs> stairs, very slippery in the rain. <laughs> very slippery. Someone in front of me ate it, and I almost ate it too. It was really close. There's the freaking motorcycle coming through that building. Thought that was important. My leg has been bothering me. So I'm just gonna sit down. Ah, oh, for a second. Ah, oh, it's wet here. <sighs> I almost just ate it doing that joke. So we're at the green smoke. And I've come to the conclusion that it's just green clouds from the light on the green MGM building. <laughs> I thought maybe something was happening over here. Hey look, a liquor store. It's the first one I've seen on this side of town, it's great. That's supposed to be the Empire State Building, right? That's not just a building that happens to look like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I've seen that in Spider-Man. Just throwing that out there. But this is awesome, it's gonna look so cool from the other side of the street. When we get over there, we will. But this is so bright and shiny. This is cool, like I'm enjoying myself thoroughly just looking around and experiencing it. It'd be so much more fun with someone to experience it with though. You know, I go into places and shops and just hang out. One day, I'll come back with a friend. <laughs> I gotta find one. There's a roller coaster over there and I wanna be on it right now. I wanna be on it right now. Alas, I'm pretty sure it's not open right now, which is, which is a shame. It's Jack Black. Check it out. The MGM line, baby. I'm pretty sure my grandma used to work here. Maybe not at this exact one, but I know she used to work at MGM, right? Dad, is that a thing? I'm pretty sure it was, and there's, look at the skyline of New York City, all the way here in Las Vegas. Las Vegas has a kleptomaniac mentality. They're just stealing everything from everyone. There's a pyramid! Poor Egypt. Excuse me, sir, sir, excuse me. I don't think you can park here. Sir, I, I think you should move before the cops come. Okay, fine. Good luck. People these days, they think they can just park wherever they want. It's an airplane. I, uh, I think we've taken a wrong turn. We've ended up at Excalibur, and this can only end in two ways. Me running for my life and getting away, or me running for my life and being an impale, impaled by a spear. Cross your fingers for number one. Now this, this is pretty cool. Check this out. I think that's the fastest I've actually gotten out of any place so far. But I wish I was still in there because sometimes, man, this place stinks so bad. So bad. Ugh. But it's like these places don't want you to escape because there's no exit signs anywhere. It just leads you to more gambling stations and bathrooms. This is the only two pla places that are on signs. There's no exit signs. <laughs> anyway, we're almost at the Luxor. I'm really excited to see this one. That's pretty cool. It's like a big Egyptian tomb looking thing over there. But geez, look at it. It's so cool. It's a gigantic pyramid hotel with a light that shoots off into space. That is so cool. I, I want to stay in one of those rooms so badly. I wonder if they're all, they all need to be like window rooms, right? Because any rooms in the middle, there's nothing gonna be cool about that. We got a window room with like one of those slanted windows. That'd be sweet. 
I want to stay in that one day. You can see like the you can see like the rain bouncing off of it towards the top. Oh, that's awesome! There's a sphinx over there. The, the uh, with the freaking Washington Monument. It says Lex Luxor on it. Oh, so cool. We're gonna get a look at that sphinx and then we're gonna make our way back because we're at the end. <laughs> We've made it all the way here. There it is. There it is. A gigantic sphinx. I want to see one of those, like the real ones in real life so badly. That'd be so cool. By the way, there's Mandalay Bay and a bunch of like tiger cat looking things that are really bizarre looking. And I'm running out of space on my phone so I'm trying to conserve as much as possible. There's a Luxor sign which is awesome. It's so cool, look at that. And you got the pharaohs. I mean, what, they're like rams. Pharaohs. That's just weird, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, coolest thing I've seen all night. Giant pineapples! Look at the size of these pineapples. Look at that, look at that pineapple. Oh, I just wanna cut that open and eat it. That can feed like a third world nation. And there's an airplane, helicopter. That's a helicopter. And there's a the Luxor sign. I don't know why I turned the phone, I'm sorry. Does that make you dizzy looking up at the light in the sky? Because it absolutely makes me dizzy. If you could possibly walk by this store with all this chocolate signage and not go inside, I don't, I don't know if we could be friends. Look at all this chocolate. If you melted all of this chocolate, I think you would have enough to cover all of the giant pineapples on the other side of the street. Oh, that was so amazing. Oh my goodness, check what? Look at this. It's a freaking Mexican Statue of Liberty. Where am I? Even the, even the freaking infrastructure looks like chocolate. That was probably just a happy accident. So here's a bridge. What is the point of the bridge? I don't know. There's a bridge. It's awesome. I'm pretty sure my phone is going to break soon because it's so wet out here. But look at my hair. How amazing it's staying together, huh? Huh? <laughs> But uh, anyway, here's the other side, Times Square. As I promised. So cool. So cool. I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> I don't know where I am, but look at this. It's nice. Find some Christmas music, Christmas tree with some nutcrackers. I like it. Look at this view coming out of the escalator. It's awesome. Oh, it's so tall. That's so cool. Man, I need to get out of my little city or something because I am being way too amazed by these big buildings, dude. It's so cool. I'm just like, I'm lucky there's no like poles in the middle of this of the walkway because I'm just looking up the whole time. I don't know, it walks straight into <laughs> one. Obviously, I had to come in here. Look how classy this place looks. There's giant like icicles of some sort. And these are, what is that? Oh no, there's all these beautiful Christmas trees over there. Whoa. Size of the Christmas tree. <laughs> that thing is huge. Oh, it's so cool. And these things are pretty sweet too. Look at this. Look at these things. It's just a valley of them. So awesome. Now the ground. And there's a car. Cars are cool. 
Look at the staircase. And the bed of roses. I mean, they're not roses, but they're flowers. Oh, that's so cool. I want to ride it. Look at this. You know, the Monte Carlo may have looked like the lame kid on the block. Walked right by it the first time. This time I went into a mall and ended up coming out there. Look, it's so cool. And then they got a sweet little light show going on in there. Come on, do one more cool thing. One more cool thing before I run out of space. Uh, that qualifies. That is such a sweet chest set. That would be so cool to have. Oh my goodness. It's definitely an interesting take on a seahorse. And by interesting, I mean totally awesome. I want one! That'd be so cool. That'd be the coolest pet in the world. Are you kidding me? Oh, that'd be amazing. I'm getting a little cold. I'm no statue or ancient Rome expert, but something seems to be missing from that statue. I mean, is it, is it just me? But I don't know. I think the, uh, the statue artist sculptor got ahead of himself. Oh my goodness, you guys have no idea how good it feels to be back in my room. Ah, my feet and my legs are killing me. I sound like such an old man. But seriously, if you guys are going to walk around up and down stairs on cement for hours and hours, bring shoes with arch support. It doesn't really get much better than this. My feet have been killing me as I've been complaining all night. But now I'm going to soak them in a hot tub. And I'm going to eat some Chinese food. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here, maybe get caught up with some YouTube, and just hang out. And eat some Chinese food and go to bed before 10 o'clock. And it's going to be, a, well, before 11 o'clock. Anyway, I figured I'd open my fortune real quick. There will always be delightful mysteries in your life. What the heck does that even mean? It is day numero tres. Here in Vegas, if you can call it day, because it's <sighs> ridiculous how early it is right now. Ah, oh, but there. One final view from my hotel room before <sighs> I take off. I'm gonna go finish the conference today, maybe shoot a little bit extra in my hotel, because I haven't shown you guys all, all the cool parts of the hotel yet. And I'll be heading home. It's been a fun trip, though. It's been a real fun trip. But I probably should go get ready, because I have to leave in 30 minutes. So, I couldn't have gone this entire trip without showing you guys this room. It's part of, like, the second floor of my hotel uh, is connected with the Venetian, and it's all shops. This is, like, the coolest area. The ceiling is painted like the sky, and it just looks like an Italian... Street with freaking not bongos <laughs> gondolas gondolas are gondolas right um, it's just super cool uh, later in the day uh, and in the evening they have people actually manning those gondolas and you can ride them down this whole little kind of shop aisle alley and the, just it's cool feeling and the environments oh oh and I have to show you guys this one thing anyway it's like it continues decently far down there. Oh, I'm trying to hurry because there is not a lot of space left. Like 700 megs on my phone for the rest of the day. Look at how terrifying these mannequins are. <laughs> I mean, I think normal mannequins are pretty freaky, but these by far take the cake. <laughs> Yikes. Look at how nice this bathroom is. Look at it. These toilets, like, they're like, it's like gold everywhere. I mean, that's obviously not real gold. Looks so nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording before somebody walks in. <sighs> so, 
So I've been standing here for 20 minutes. We're on break right now. I've been standing here for 20 minutes. Just hoping that the stupid fairy is gonna show up. Just so I can prove to everybody that I'm not crazy. And I'm starting to think that I have to prove it to myself that I'm not crazy because I've never seen it again except for that one night at like 1.30 in the morning. And I've been standing, <laughs> I've been waiting. But anyway, uh, this is probably the last time I'm gonna be filming here um, in Vegas. And you know, I had a really, really good trip. You know, it was just a couple days and it was for work. So there was a lot of work stuff that I had to do. But, see look, there's butterflies. There's butterflies. Fairy. Uh, but I just walked the strip. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go in a lot of places. I really wanted to eat. I was tempted a bunch of times to eat at one of the nice restaurants I found. <laughs> I was really tempted because it's just like I want to eat in one of these really high-end restaurants. But then I'm like, ah, Christmas, braces, school. I'm ah, not going to. But, um. Just walking up and down the strip, man. It was fun. Don't go south. I think the south part of the strip is the one that sucked. It was nothing. It was horrible. It's it was dingy and gross, and there's nothing happening over there. But then, hey, you want me to take your picture? I'd be happy to. <laughs> Those ladies were a lot of fun. Um, I'll bust it out. Like, I was taking a couple pictures for them, and then they're like, hold on. And they all bust out Santa hats, <laughs> just like out of nowhere. Um, but that's like the cool thing is like I've met so many like interesting people. And not like, like I don't know them now, but I like got to talk with some people, you know, waiting at stoplights and just running into them on the street. It's just, I got to talk to a lot of interesting people and it was cool and I had a really good time that way down the strip. It was so fun. And if I had more time, there's so many places I'd like to go and, and explore. Yeah, there's like a dingy, gross side of Vegas, and it's all that crap is there if you want it. But if you're not going for that, you can totally avoid it. And it's awesome, and it's a lot of fun. And it would be so fun to come here with a bunch of friends and family and stuff. Anyway, super uh, overcast today. It's really overcast. We're going to be flying into a gigantic rain cloud in a couple hours. But anyway, uh, that was my Vegas trip. Thank you for spending it with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my very touristy <laughs> view of the city, going through and looking at all the touristy things. It was a bunch of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm gonna go back to work, and then I'm gonna go back home, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on the flip side.